This case consider the issue of indecent assault, and whether the actions of a man amounted to recklessness in relation to the consent of a woman whom he touched. In this case, an electrician went to do some work at a house of a woman. While he was there, he sat with the woman, and during a conversation rubbed her leg, hugged her, and tried to kiss her. The woman felt uncomfortable, but did not immediately ask the man to leave. When asked by the judge whether he had considered the issue of consent, he responded that it did not enter his mind. The man was charged with indecent assault. The trial judge had found that the man had touched the woman without her consent, and that had induced in her a sufficient amount of fear to constitute an assault. The man appealed his conviction on the basis that he did not intentionally or recklessly put the woman in fear of any physical or unlawful danger. The man was successful in his appeal, and the judge in the appeal insisted that the prosecution must prove that the accused considered the non-consent of the woman, or that he intended to touch her whether she consented or not. Ultimately, that the man thought about the non-consent. The prosecution appealed this judgment and argued that the necessary mens rea is established even if the accused failed to give any true consideration to the consent. The central issue for the court, therefore, was whether the actions of the man amounted to recklessness as to whether the woman was consenting or not, and whether it was necessary that he considered the issue of consent. The court.